So, uh, so Azraq is the, this is the newest camp that's been developed in, um, in Jordan, in close collaboration between the government of Jordan, UNHCR, and including uh, very key partners such as the Norwegian Refugee Council. Uh, the Norwegian Refugee Council has been instrumental uh, with the Ministry of Public Works of constructing what, is, what we're seeing as a, um, a almost revolutionary design for accommodating refugees. Not only do these designs uh, provide uh, much more security for the refugees, um, personal security, but also security from the elements. One of the positive things from, uh, from, from using these materials is that these materials are being sourced from Jordan and they provide support to the local economy. Um, they're also being built uh, ahead of time. We're actually ahead of schedule in relation to uh, being prepared for refugee influx. Whereas in Zartri, we only had 10 days notice and the, and the refugees were almost overwhelming us. Here, uh, we've currently constructed about 3,500 and by the first, uh, by the time the first refugees arrive, we would ho hopefully have about 5,000 constructed. So the transitional shelter which you uh, see behind me, it's a design made of primarily of zinc and steel. Um, it's designed to withstand very high winds, high temperatures in the summer and then cold temperatures in the, in the winter. Inside of the shelter there will be uh, insulation, there will be privacy partitions for the families that will live there, in addition to, to flooring. This site undergoes very extreme forms of weather. This can be even flooding in, in, in the winter time. It can be high winds in the springtime and very high temperatures during the, the summer period in excess of, of 40 degrees Celsius. So it's crucial that we are able to deliver refugee families a home which makes living in a place such as Azraq bearable. It's a transitional shelter, which means a, an emergency phase will be completed prior to refugees arriving. We would then, to a larger degree as possible, like to involve the, the refugee community in the, in the finishing of these homes. We know what to do. We've got the teams in the field to do it. We've got a very good relationship with the Jordanian government, but we're lacking the, the necessary funding to do that. Uh, if we want to expand Azraq, if we want to provide more cash assistance to the refugees outside of the refugee camps, it's really a matter for um, donor governments to step forward.